Effects channels are channels that you can route many different audio tracks to and then change the way the audio sounds. Let's say we have this drum beat playing. Now we want to put some reverb on this loop. We could press the E button and add reverb as an insert, but then we couldn't share this reverb with other tracks, thereby conserving CPU power. What we want to do is use an effect channel track. Right click and add an effects channel track. You can pick whether the track is in mono, stereo, or surround sound. If you are choosing something like reverb, you'll want it in stereo. Now pick the reverb plugin and press OK. Make your changes now or later, but you might want to set the mix so that it is 100% wet. This will ensure that you are getting all of the reverb and not some of the dry signal. Now we've created an effects channel, but we can't hear any sound difference yet. Before we go on, one thing I've learned is that when you start having a lot of tracks and a lot of effects channels, you can get confused on whether this reverb is the one for your drums or the vocals and so on. I like to rename my effects channels so that it makes it easy to see what they are. I'll call this Drum Reverb. Now we want the drums to have reverb on them, right? So click on the E button on the drum track. Now we are going to use the sends to send to the Drum Reverb effect channel. Click in the first slot and choose Drum Reverb. Press the Power On button and then raise the level up. You should now hear reverb on the drums. If you need to adjust the reverb, press the E button, make your changes, and then close this window. A cool effect if you want just the reverb sound is to press this button. If the volume is down on the volume fader, then the reverb send also goes down. Not visually, but the send can't send anymore because there is no more volume. By pressing this button, we can continue sending audio out the send even if the fader is down. This is called the pre-fader button. Very useful. All you hear is reverb now. You can change the EQ of these drums just by changing it on the drum channel. But what if the reverb is too boomy? Or what if you'd like compression after the reverb? This is where effects channels shine. You can click the E button right on the effects channel and this calls up the channel settings of the effects channel. This looks the same as a regular channel. Now all we have is reverb coming through this channel. So when we adjust the EQ here, we are really adjusting the EQ of the reverb. Let's try this. Sounds great, doesn't it? Let's compress the reverb by adding a compressor right after the reverb insert.
As you can see, effects channels are very powerful. You can also add effects channels in the VST Connections window found under the Devices panel. Add an effects channel here and the same dialog box pops up, making a channel for you. There is literally no difference where you make the channel. They are both the same thing.